Did you know that the Family Ministries Department has a century of rich history in the Seventh-day Adventist Church? A lot has changed over the past 100 years, but through it all, Family Ministries has been here to support families. 100 years ago, families drove their Model Ts on outings. The word teenager didn't even exist. The size of the average family was five, and the rate of divorce was one out of every 1,000 couples. The first rotary dial phones were installed, and the pop-up toaster and the zipper were invented. About half of all families lived on a farm, and the most popular media products of the time were the Blair piano and the phonograph. It's true. Things are very different today. But it's also true that we still catch the best glimpse of God through the family for it is there where we see God's character revealed by the ways in which we love, communicate, and forgive. Most of us can repeat the words of the Gospel Commission, go ye into all the world. But many years ago, Ellen White wrote that our work for Christ is to begin with the family in the home. In fact, she emphatically stated that there is no missionary field more important than this. In other words, God created families your family to be a vehicle to advance the gospel and to fulfill that gospel commission. This ministry centered on the family started 100 years ago in 1919 with the husband and wife team of Arthur and Maud Spaulding who developed a series of leaflets dealing with different phases of home life. During the next three decades, marriage and family life programs were promoted by the parent and home education secretaries. In 1975, the husband and wife team of Delmer and Betty Holbrook were elected as directors of the Home and Family Service. Family ministries continued as a strong emphasis in the World Church, and in 1988, Drs. Ron and Karen Flowers took over the helm and served for the next 22 years. It was during their tenure that an infrastructure of family ministries directors were elected at the division, union, and conference levels. And in 1995, Dr. Willie Oliver was elected as the first Director of Family Ministries of the North American Division, serving until the year 2010 when he and his wife Elaine were elected to serve at the General Conference. And that rich history brings us to today. In 2010, we became the first husband and wife team to be employed full-time for Family Ministries in the North American Division. As we embark on this centennial year, we want to invite you to join us as we celebrate what God has done through family ministries in the North American Division. We'd like to share with you some very specific ways that you can join us in making 2019 a year focused on the family. The Sabbath School Adult Guide for the second quarter of 2019 is entitled Family Seasons. We were honored to be the authors of this guide and of the companion book published by the Pacific Press. And by the way, did you know that you can download the study guide as a free app on your mobile device or tablet? And you may also even listen to it on your Amazon Echo device. We haven't forgotten our young people in our centennial celebration. So we have updated the Pathfinder Family Life Honor and will be at the Campery in Oshkosh with thousands of specially made centennial pins to trade. Our departmental mission statement is very clear. Family Ministries is a ministry of evangelism. Remember, there is no missionary field more important and each of our families have been given a divine mandate to reflect Jesus to the world. So join us throughout 2019 as we celebrate one of God's greatest gifts to us, our family. If you would like to learn more about the history of family ministries and ways you can join the celebration, visit our website and click on the Centennial logo.